you are washing your vagina with Bath and Body Works soap, go to the corner. Go to the corner. <laughs> I am Jalen Renee. Welcome back to my channel. Make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you like this video because I'm telling you, it's going to be a good one, girl. <laughs> okay, so today we're talking all about hygiene, hygiene down there for your little pocketbook, especially during the time of the month, and just overall how to take care of your body, how to take care of your skin. I'm going to give you guys some tips that I definitely use. I am knocking on 30 okay so I will be 30 at the end of this year so these are things that I have incorporated in my daily routine to make sure I'm maintaining not only the outside but also the inside so if you're interested in watching stay tuned so starting off, let's talk the vagina, aka your ladybook, aka your poom poom, your pocketbook, whatever your grandma used to call it <laughs> when you were a little girl. We gonna dig a little bit deeper into your vagina, how it works, um, things that may throw your pH off. We're gonna go into that first. We're just gonna deal with the science part of it all. In the beginning, I think this is very important because I know that I was obviously taught to clean myself um, and to keep up with myself. However, I wasn't necessarily taught the science of my ladybook. So I think this is definitely important. This is something I'm going to teach my daughter very, very young so she understands her pocketbook and how it works and why certain things may be happening that has not happened happened before now before we get started let's remember ladies that the vagina can easily be knocked off its normal course okay um sitting down the wrong way wearing the wrong clothes wearing the, a certain type of underwear um a certain temperature outside you having sexual intercourse with um your boyfriend all these things can knock your ladybook off of its ph okay so don't think that you're nasty don't think um that your body is doing something weird because you have some type of serious disease just be very very cautious of what you're doing and what goes in and what goes out of there okay so let's get started on the background of your vagina and I did take a few notes after I read some articles about it because I wanted to make sure this information was a hundred percent accurate for you ladies so a normal vagina a normal vaginal pH level is between 3.8 and 4.5, which is moderately acidic. However, what constitutes However, what constitutes a normal pH level can vary slightly based on your stage of life. So, I definitely say um, what this is saying is depending on your age, um, your normal pH level for your vagina can change. And now I'm going to go take it a step further and say this can also change if you have certain underlying conditions. So if you have um, diabetes, if you have high blood pressure, things like that all can determine what your particular body's normal vagina pH level is. Um, so during your reproductive years, which is usually 15 to 49, your vaginal pH should be below or equal to 4.5. But below, but be menstruation and after menopause, a healthy pH tends to be higher than 4.5. So we should all know about acidic um, levels based on that scale. So the higher you go the more acidic something is so you definitely want to make sure as this says that your vagina's ph is 4.5 we want to keep it as close to 4.5 as we possibly can so as i was saying before things like 
wearing the wrong underwear um wearing a certain type of underwear such as thongs for an extended period of time um sweating when it's an ad normally or normally depending on where you live hotter day and you're sweating more you're obviously going to sweat as well down there that's just how it is guys um sitting a particular way for long periods of time um doing certain activities that can all throw that normal 4.5 pH level up. So it can throw it completely off, like easily. This can easily, easily happen. And I'm probably going to keep saying that because I think that is very important for us as ladies to know that certain things can definitely throw it off. Um, now... All those things that can possibly cause your pH to be unbalanced, we're going to touch on. We're going to touch on your menstrual cycle, aka the time of the month, um, aka part in the Red Sea, aka and flow, whatever you want to call it. That's the, that's what we're going to touch on for today. So, menstrual but. Menstrual blood itself is a bit basic, so it's going to raise the pH um, level of your vagina, okay? It says when that blood flows through the vagina and is absorbed into a tampon or pad and sits in place, it can raise the pH level of your vagina. So when you read on your tampon or your pad packaging, it usually says to be sure you're frequently changing, rather it's your tampon or your pad throughout the day. You don't want to sit in the same pad all day. You don't want to sit in the same pad, I would say more than an hour and a half, like seriously and that is also dependent on how heavy your flow is so if you're a heavier flower like myself especially in the beginning of my cycle you want to make sure you're changing every 30 minutes like I literally change every 30 minutes um, that way I'm not sitting in that and it's not raising my pH level so again remember the normal pH level of your vagina is 4.5 say I was to sit in my pad or leave my tampon in all day who knows what my ph level of my vagina will end up being by the end of the day and also i'm probably gonna see some abnormal discharge i'm probably gonna I may start itching down there or something. Something is going to start happening to show me that my vagina is off of pH. Now, usually the first signal is discharge. Now, obviously there's all types of different discharges. Everybody is different, but determining what type of discharge you may have and sitting in that tampon or that pad all day, it can definitely cause you to have a yeast infection, you may get BV, you may get trick. It might be all types of other things that you can um, get because of the bacteria building up and also your vagina pH level increasing, okay? What we want to do 100% is prevent any of that, okay? We don't want to have to deal with any of that yeast infections, BV, whatever. Now, don't get me wrong, yeast infections are extremely common in women. Um, I've had them, I, I had a really rough time with them when I was pregnant with my daughter. And it's because, come on ladies, we are extremely hormonal. We're always changing every day. Uh, I would just like to say, we got vaginal vaginas and when you run the world you're gonna have problems okay <laughs> but not even problems I would just call them you know it's just what we got and it's what we have to deal with and it is a hundred percent manageable and it's a hundred percent doable um here are some of the tips that I do in my routine so, I know we've all heard the saying you are what you eat right and 
And as I get older, that couldn't be more true. Like, seriously, I notice my body um, reacting more and more as I get older to certain sugars that I eat. I mean, food in general, any type of food that I eat, I'm starting to notice my body is acting reacting very very different towards it okay so i'm not gonna too much get into foods but the one thing i know that is important <laughs> is h2o a girl now let me just let me just make a confession i was never and i'm still not a fan of just plain water like this water bottle I would never just drink it <laughs> on its own like this. I do not like the taste of water. Um, one thing though, I do eat ice. So I take ice cubes and I blend it up in a blender and I just eat it. Like I do that all day. Um, I really, really had it bad when I was pregnant with my daughter because of my iron levels going up and down. But generally, I just like the taste of ice that way. Um, now, what I will say is do not do that to replace you drinking water all throughout the day. You still need to drink water all throughout the day. Now, girl, if I don't like water, then how am I drinking it throughout the day? <laughs> this is what I had to do for myself. Okay, so step number one, I like all things cute, okay? So I invest into cups like i am a cup collector i'm crazy i know but i invest in beautiful cute cups that i can carry around with me to just make me want to you know sip on some water you know um all throughout the day i try to fill this up at least four times a day and that's good for me because remember i'm also eating ice throughout the day um I'm not going to say that I drink a gallon of water every day because I'm sure that I don't. But um, I try to get as much in as possible. I mean, guys, your body is mostly water. Like, water makes up a lot of your body. So, obviously, you need to make sure you're getting water into your body. Now, um, so, as I said, I don't like the plain taste. So, what I do is I put some ice in here right i buy some lemon juice so you know you can go to the grocery store and get like uh, the jugs i don't even know whatever liter or whatever it is of lemon juice and i splash a uh, probably <sighs> i splash a bit of the lemon juice in here so i just pour it in here now um of course i also buy lemons so i can just cut a lemon in half and squeeze the lemon in there um as well then i pour my water in so that helps me with the taste at least to me water doesn't have a taste so that will definitely give it a taste and with the ice it's nice and chilled so i can easily just sip throughout the day guys i can i cannot stress enough how important water intake is um you guys know i post my skin videos and i'm working on my skin this definitely helps water being into your body helps water helps detox your body um water obviously if it helps detox your body it's gonna be helping detox your vagina right so it helps everything so make sure you are drinking water okay if you're not detoxing yourself with water obviously all of those issues um yeast infections bv and things like that those can occur because of the sugars we're putting in our body so we want to make sure we're drinking just as much water as we are sugars okay <laughs> period <laughs> Okay, so next, I, um, I've always been the girl to take vitamins. So I used to take fish oil and then I would use restroom and I'd be like, no. So I am one of those people that um, fish oil goes and comes out of my pores and I'm, I'm not feeling that. So uh, unfortunately, I don't take fish oil. Um, I did take B12 for a while, especially when I was pregnant with my daughter. And I'm just referring to when I was pregnant with my daughter a lot because I've exper I experienced a lot of these issues with her versus my pregnancy with my son. And I was also 
older when I had my daughter. So I know age is a bit, I know age is a big contributing factor to a lot of these things. Um, so today I'm going to talk about my probiotic vitamin that I take. If you are over the age of 25, sis, you need to take a probiotic. Like, and I won't even say 25. When you hit 20, sis, take your probiotics, okay? So, probiotic is an aid in gut health, okay? So, it is going to make sure your gut is where it needs to be. Make sure your gut is maintaining the pH it needs to maintain. And it's gonna, it's gonna help with all that, okay? So, I take these ones here. Um, they're by Ali. I purchased mine from Target. I know they carry them at Kroger's. Um, I don't know if I've seen them at Walmart, but they I'm sure they probably carry them at Walmart too. Target usually does have good sales on these, so I'm like, I'm running low now, so um, the next time Target has them on sale, I definitely need to pick up a new bottle, but these are amazing. I take this probiotic twice a day. So one in the morning and one at night. They're the gummy kind. So, and they're good. <laughs> they really, really do taste good. But um, I'm going to read if it has. So it says the goods inside. 70% of your body's immune system lives in your digestive tract. So healthy digestion health so healthy digestion is super important for your overall health not to mention comfort this daily boost will help you maintain a natural balance of flora and keep your pipes at peace period <laughs> probiotics a super dose of good bugs that work with your body's natural bacteria to support a healthy digestive tract and immune system sis Take your vitamins. You have to. This is only helping you. This is only helping your body. Like this is, and it's so easy. You, I brush my teeth, pop it in, and drink my water. Okay. So make sure you are incorporating a probiotic in your diet. I definitely recommend starting with these if you are not really big on taking medicine. I don't take a lot of medicine. Like. Literally, I you will only catch me taking taking medicine if like is real bad. Okay, so make sure that you're. So these are a good um, start because they're gummy. You don't have to. These are a good start because they're a gummy and you don't have to really worry about troubles with swallowing a pill or nothing. These are super super easy, super super affordable. Highly highly recommend these. Next thing, okay. Let's talk underwear, okay? So, underwear, right? I know we've all went through a period of our lives where we're like, underwear who? <laughs> nah, sis. That has been me. It was me for many, 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 many years, okay? But... After doing my research, speaking with doctors, I have found out, especially in as I'm getting older, the necessity of underwear, okay? There's germs everywhere. Let's be clear, we sit down in places that we have no idea who has been there, what they've done there. We need underwear. If we don't think that germs can creep up in our pants, through our pants and all that, child, they absolutely can. We should know that by what we're going through right now, right? <laughs> so, underwear. Let The first thing about underwear, make sure you are investing in good quality underwear um rather it's thongs rather it's boy shorts briefs whatever your choice is make sure you are investing in good quality cotton underwear 
okay? Make sure you have some cotton underwear. Like, cotton should be the bulk of your underwear. Like, I know it's cool to have the cute little polyester, lacy underwear, whatever. Those are cool for certain occasions, okay? But the bulk of your underwear should be cotton underwear. That is the best material. That's the best environment for the natural bacteria in your vagina, okay? So make sure you are letting your baby girl breathe especially at night when you go to sleep at night psh, don't sleep with those things let her breathe a little bit let her take some time to <sighs> digress you're digressing right you're taking some rest you're getting comfortable let your pocketbook get comfortable too okay um Thongs, make sure you're limiting, make sure you have a limit on the amount of time you're wearing a thong. So I would not, absolutely not um, wear a thong all day, sleep in it, like no. Because we all know that we're supposed to wipe front to back, right? And we should all know the reason why. And that's because we don't want the bacteria from behind to travel to the front, right? But when you're wearing a thong or a G-string, it's much easier for those bacteria to end up mixing the front bacteria going to the back and the bacteria going to the front. So we wanna make sure we are limited in the time that we have our thongs on and especially making sure if any wetness or you're sweating down there or if you're getting in the pool or anything, we wanna make sure we're making we want to make sure that we're limiting the time that we have that on. We want to take it off as soon as possible. Um, for example, if you're going out with friends on a day, you throw a thong on because of the type of outfit you have on. Make sure when you get home, you shower, get that thing off, and get relaxed, okay? You don't want um, those vaginas mixing and sitting there for a long period of time, okay? Now, I said we're going to mainly focus on um, the menstrual cycle. So, these are my... This is my choice of underwear when I'm on my menstrual cycle. Yes, I got the right thing. <laughs> yes, that is a man on this package. <laughs> I love to wear briefs. I love, love to wear briefs because they're extremely comfortable one they provide a nice tight not too tight though but nice tight fit for a nice tight fit to prevent leaks because i cannot stand leaks and we all know that they happen to all of us right um and like i said it's a such a comfortable fit i feel secure i don't feel like anything is gonna spill out I just prefer briefs. Now, these particular ones, I get all my briefs from Burlington. I'm going to keep it real. $7.99, sis. I got them from Burlington. They're Michael Kors, so they're designer, period, okay? And I usually get this three-pack one, so I'll just show you guys what they look like. See how they're nice and stretchy, but they're also, you can tell the material of these are that nice tight fit and they're really, really great quality, okay? So I can keep these for a very long time. Now, time for underwear. Girl, if you have underwear from five years ago, I need you to go in your um, drawer or wherever you're keeping them, take them and throw them away. And I need you to go to the store and buy some new underwear. I would definitely say your everyday underwear, especially, you need to be switching those out every three months, especially looking for the ones that have been stained, those that are falling apart, the ones that have been stained, those that are falling apart, there's rips in them, seams in them, Get rid of those, sis. And I'm saying this because I know a lot of people overlook this and do not do this. Make this a priority. This is just as important as you changing your pad uh, or your tampon consistently throughout the day when you're on your menstrual cycle. I would say for your everyday underwear, every three months, okay? For your uh, period underwear, time of the month underwear, yes, you should have separate underwear for that. I don't wear boxer briefs. <laughs> <laughs> when it's not that time of the month 
but um, for your time of the month underwear, make sure I could say four to five um, months just because you're washing those less and they shouldn't like be getting stained up or anything like that. But guys, you have to make sure you're switching those out. It's just like switching out your toothbrush. It's just like switching out your toothbrush. So you wanna make sure you're very, very consistent with that and you stay on top of that. It's an investment, guys. It's just as important, as I said, as having pads and tampons. It's just as important. Make it a priority. Next thing is tampons, pads, dispensaries so what are they what are they for do i need them i would say this is something that's definitely a personal choice um i do use them every month so for me i like to make sure i'm taking care of myself i'm maintaining that 4.5 ph the best way that i can i also have a boyfriend um so i'm obviously getting it in sis okay but you want to make sure you're being responsible when you are doing that. So, um, I use the Honey Pop suspensories. And they are very, very easy to use. I haven't had any issues with them. They honestly... I mean, they do such a good job and they're not painful. I usually insert one of these at night when I want to use it. And I especially use it once my uh, menstrual cycle is over for the month. Um, I make sure I definitely use one of them then. So here is the one by the Honey Pot. I pick mine up from Target. Um, and it's just, it's, it really is an awesome thing to have um, in your menstrual cycle bucket, um, closet, wherever you're holding your items. It is awesome to have. Next, pads. Now, I know a lot of people are like, I don't wear pads, I just wear tampons. For me personally, I can't use tampons all day throughout the entire cycle. Like I have to have pads. I usually wear pads at night, especially. Um, tampons just sometimes they irritate me. I don't like the way they feel all the time, but there are certain occasions where I will throw on a tampon. So again, I am using the Honey Pods. Um, I have all of her pads so these are the overnight ones which i've already opened <laughs> um these are the regular ones um she also has another she has the everyday panty liner ones and i think she has another size um i don't remember the other size but i will I'll link it down below but these are awesome they do have a mint cooling effect so all of her pads um, have a mint cooling effect um, it's something to get used to but I honestly do not mind it now I'm showing these specifically because they are plant-based so these don't have any harsh chemicals in it all of the chemicals are um, nice and natural there's no chlorine there's no pesticides there's no fragrances this is an especially great product for your vagina because it's not going to throw your ph off it's going to do what you need it to do and it's going to absorb what you need it to absorb and it's it's just a better um, alternative versus regular pads that use fragrances, that use chlorine, that use all of these harsh chemicals, okay? Um, so as I stated, I do use tampons. The tampons I use are also honey pots. Um, I am really big on using the whole line of a brand. I, I just do, and I think it's that's especially important for things like, um, you know, your time of the month. So these are 100% organic tampons. They're the regular kind. I always use the regular for her. I don't know if she has different sizes in her tampons, but I believe she does. Um, they're unscented. Um, and again, they 
are chlorine free, pesticide free, fragrance free. So those are that. Um, when I do use a tampon, I make sure again that it's changed every 20 to 30 minutes and same for a pad. Um, yes, I get up in the Yes, I get up in the middle of the night and I change my pad. Most of the time we get up to use the restroom anyway, so it's not a big deal for me at all. The only soap you should be using down there should be fragrance free. It shouldn't have all these harsh chemicals in it. Sis, you need to have two at a minimum, two washes, one for your body and one for your vagina okay that's it period okay so the wash that i use for my vajayjay is the honey pot wash i particularly use this one this is the normal one it's not the sensitive one and it works just fine with me now if you notice that your vagina um, is a little bit more sensitive then I would definitely suggest the sensitive one but this is plant-based again um, so it's free of the, any harsh chemicals and I love the fact that this is in a foam consistency like I love it because it's so gentle it's so nice it really really changed the game when I start using this it makes me feel so fresh down there so clean um what I do is I just give it a nice shake take a couple pumps in my hand and I wash with my hand yeah I wash my with my hand only because it's gentle number one number two towels and things like that especially towels they carry bacteria so if you happen to have some bacteria down there and you washed with a rag down there and the next day you go back and you use that same rag because let's be real we don't switch our rags every day i mean it might be some people that do but at the end of the day you used it once before and it may still have that bacteria um on that rag so what we want to do is prevent bacteria from traveling now i'm not saying that i don't have bacteria or germs or anything on my hands that's why before i do that square in my hand i make sure i wash my hands as best as i can and then i get to cleaning my lady okay so boom honey pot normal wash on my vagina this is used on my vagina only okay sis um so obviously i have a boatload of body washes for my body um the bath and body works all of that but those never touch my vagina okay never touch my vagina area <laughs> so the next thing and i just want to touch on this because i know sometimes during our cycles we're super cautious um one we don't want anything to leak over two we don't want any smells to creep up or anything like that so i'm gonna show you ladies what i use when i get out the shower to make sure i'm smelling good that my skin is nice and soft and i'm not having any trouble with smells or anything like that okay sis so the first thing i do when i get out the shower the first thing I do when I get out the shower is go in with some shea butter. Now, I love shea butter. I just, oh, let's smell it. Let's smell it. I love it. And I love the fact that it doesn't take a lot to go a long way. Like, I literally just, I usually have long nails. So, I take um, a little bit on the end of my fingertip. And I put it in my palm and I rub it in to activate it and rub it in and then I just rub it all on 
my body so that is literally the first layer that i do and like i said you see how i could basically cover that little bit on both of my arms like i don't need to be greased up like i just want to make sure i rub it in and get it on my skin i do that all over my body the next thing next thing i do is go in with the oil these babies are new to my collection these are the um ancient cosmetics body oils y'all they smell so 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 good i love them they're the perfect consistency they're natural um they make my body feel amazing now i'm an oil girl okay so i also use um the walmart brand body oil the coconut kind i do use that no i don't use johnson and johnson's yes i use the walmart brand i think it's the equate brand that's the brand i use but i am obsessed with this i've been using these two i use the island mango in the morning time and i use the sweet almond at night so after each time i shower boom after i put my shea butter on comes oil love 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 love, love these i have a link down in the description to these now after my oil i know guys like i really layer my skin i don't play about my skin like i want my skin to be popping okay when my man rubs my body i want my skin to be nice and soft and smelling good um so the next thing i do the next thing i do is go in with a body cream now this one is by dove let's get this to focus this one is by Dove. It's their Silky Petals. I really, really like this one. Um, I have numerous body... I have numerous body creams so like I'm just showing you guys an example but um, this one smells really good it's nice and delicate and feminine I really like it I also purchase um, I also purchase body creams I guess this is I, I also purchase body creams from Bath and Body Works, so I always do one that goes with the season. So I am obsessed with this pink watermelon one for this season. It smells so good, like so bomb. So those are examples of body oils. And like I said, I have a ton of these. Like I keep these on deck period okay so you make sure you have nice smelling body oils okay and lastly i squirt a little perfume on or dab a little bit of my oil on so this is the pink watermelon uh spray fragrance from bath and body works so definitely if i'm going to use the pink watermelon body cream for that day then i'll go ahead and squirt on the pink watermelon fragrance to go with it definitely want to match okay or if i'm feeling a little bit sexier that night okay me and baby got a little date at night then i'll go in with something a little bit then i'll go in with something a little bit more heavier um now a sister is a gold star member at the oil bar and i'm gonna tell you why um because i can get fragrances that fragrances that cost a lot of money in the oil form for much much cheaper <laughs> so i'm down with that okay and i just perform i just prefer oil i think it lasts longer and i love just how the smell lingers on my body um versus just spray okay so this is a scent um this is the oil mix for javinci's her play her i think that's what it's called play her it smells amazing i love the spiciness to this one but um yeah like i said when i want something a little bit heavier i go in with an oil um fragrance and i love it so i really really hope <laughs> you guys learned something i know uh, most of us especially us um, um 
especially my subscribers that are a little bit older might have known most of this but i honestly hope that you at least got some new products to pick up off this um video okay thank you guys so much for watching again i hope this video helps make sure you give me a thumbs up boop, 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 and make sure you subscribe i need y'all a part of my fam i have tons more videos coming to you so make sure you're subscribed and you're locked in with me and until next time i will see you ladies and gents later bye